Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. This is the first video for grade 8 science, and today we are going to learn about importance of microorganisms in unit 1. In this unit, we are going to learn about what are microorganisms, effects of microorganisms on food, impact of microorganisms in humans and their activities. Under that, we are going to study about the beneficial effects and harmful effects. Before starting this lesson, we must know what are microorganisms. Microorganisms are the unicellular or multicellular organisms that cannot be observed through our naked eye. But they can only be observed through the microscopes. If you see, these microorganisms can live in every habitat, such as different atmosphere, water, soil, in and on living organisms, and hostile environment, such as glaciers, deserts, hot springs, deep sea, saline environment, etc. Okay, now let's observe the microorganisms. Activity 1.1 For this, you need a sample of coconut water, a glass slide, a cover slate and a light microscope here what you have to do is you put the coconut water into a clean container and keep it for about three days then take a drop of that coconut water and place it on the slide and cover it with a cover slip then you can observe this prepared slide under the microscope, low power. So, you will be able to observe the microorganism something like this. These are the microorganisms that you see in a sample of aged coconut water. This is a unicellular fungal variety which is called yeast. There is a vast biological diversity among these microorganisms. They, they differ in their morphological characters as well as in their physiological mechanism. Let's observe some examples of such microorganisms. These are bacteria, yeast, chlamydomonas, it is an algae, species. Muca, it is a fungus. Amoeba and paramecium. And Tony Van Leeuwenhoek. Who is he? He is a Dutch scientist. 
he observed the microorganisms for the first time in 1674 using a simple microscope that he invented. Effects of microorganisms on food. The growth of some microorganisms on food make them not suitable for human consumption. They change color, texture, order and the appearance of food. If you observe in this picture, you can see how their color, texture and the appearance have changed. Spoilage of food. What is meant by spoilage of food? When the food become unfavorable for consumption due to the change of properties, it is known as spoilage of food. The main reason for spoilage of food is the growth of microorganisms. To understand further about the effect of microorganisms on food, we'll do the assignment 1.1. Here you have to get some food sample such as bread, vegetable, fruit, milk, rice, any kind. And at the starting, you have to observe their nature carefully and record their color, texture, order and the appearance. Then after 24 hours, you have to repeat the same. And again after 48 hours and after 72 hours, you have to carefully observe their color, texture, order and appearance and record on this table so that you will clearly understand how the microbial activities change the color, texture, order, appearance and appearance of food. To further understand the effect of microorganisms on food, let's do the activity 1.2. For this, you need a slice of bread, some water, a glass slide, a cowslip and a microscope. First of all, you have to spray some water on the slice of bread and keep it for three days. Then take some of the grown substances on the slice of bread and place on the glass slide. After putting a drop of water, cover it with a cover slip and observe through the microscope. So that you will observe that there are some fibers and black structures on bread. They are a kind of fungi which spoils bread, which we call bread mold. So here you will understand that the main reason for food spoilage is the growth of microorganism on food. Now let's study the microbial activity. For this, we'll do the activity 1.3. For this, you need sugar, yeast, balloon, warm water, a glass bottle and 
a maker. First, dissolve two teaspoons of sugar in 200 milliliters of warm water and add one teaspoon of yeast. Mix well and leave it for about 20 minutes. Next, you have to prepare the same mixture again and put it into a glass bottle. Then fix a balloon on the mouth of the bottle and leave those two set up for about 20 minutes. In first step, when sugar and yeast are mixed in a solution, it will bubble and become warm and you will smell the odor of alcohol. It is because ethyl alcohol is produced due to the activity of yeast in sugar solution. In second step, you will see that the balloon has been inflated. This is because a gas is produced due to the activity of yeast in sugar solution. And that gas is carbon dioxide. The same phenomenon takes place in bakery products as well. There, they use yeast as a key ingredient. Here the activity of yeast forms carbon dioxide and makes the dough rise. And ethyl alcohol evaporates during the process of baking. Let's explore more about microbial activity. Moisture and temperature are the main factors that contribute to microbial activity. And the food spoils rapidly at room temperature that, that is between 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. They change taste, order, color, texture and the nutritional value of the food. Based on the type of food on which the microbes act, the microbial activities can be divided into three categories. Fermentation, putrefaction, Rancidity. Fermentation means the microbial activity on food high in sugar. Microbial activity on food high in protein is known as putrefaction. Microbial activity on food high in fats leads to rancidity. Therefore, it is clear that microbial activity on food can be controlled by controlling substrate, temperature and pH.
impacts of microorganisms. Microorganisms can be beneficial or harmful. First, let's see the beneficial effects of microorganisms. Beneficial effects of microorganisms are of several types. Number one, in different industries, such as producing curd, producing yogurt, producing cheese, bakery products, producing antibiotics, producing vaccines, producing vinegar and alcohol, food such as mushrooms, making compost, producing biogas and in choir industry. Second one, decomposing dead plant and animal matter. Microorganisms decompose dead plant and animal matter. If not, these matter get collected and it affects the balance of the environment. Therefore, microorganisms contribute to the well-being of the environment. Microorganisms are also used to control pests. This is known as the biological control method of pests. Now let's see the harmful effects of microorganisms. Harmful effects of microorganisms are also of several types such as Food spoilage, causing infectious diseases to man, animal and crops and causing economical damages to clothes and wooden furniture. First, let's learn about food spoilage, growth of microorganisms on vegetables, growth of microorganisms on bread growth of microorganism on fruits. The second one, causing infectious diseases. Infectious diseases caused to man by microorganism, by viruses, common cold, dengue and AIDS. Bacteria cause tuberculosis, leprosy, and typhoid fever. By protozoa, malaria, leishmaniasis, amoebiasis. By fungi, pityriasis, and so. Infectious diseases caused to animals. Animals get infectious diseases due to these microorganisms such as hydrophobia, hydrophobia, a bull suffering from foot and mouth disease and cow suffering from mastitis. Then infectious diseases caused to plants. Plants too get infectious diseases due to microorganisms such as potato blight, papaya leaves with mosaic disease and chili plant with leaf curd disease. Third harmful effect is causing economical damage to clothes and wooden furniture. This picture shows how microorganisms cause economical damages. Fungi on clothes. 
fungi on walls and fungi on wooden surfaces. So here come, here we come to the end of this unit. And in this unit, we have learned that unicellular organisms which are invisible to the naked eye when taken individually are called microorganisms. Nutrients, moisture, favorable temperature, and favorable pH values are necessary for microbial growth. Microorganisms can cause beneficial effects as well as harmful effects. Thank you.